Welcome to the Creative Brew, helping you keep your creative juices brewing. We're giving out chunks of insight, motivation, and practicality for your creative journey. Narco is just not a company, it's a way of life. Born from the vision of embracing the gnarly spirit, we at Narco are dedicated to crafting American-made products that embody the essence of adventure and freedom. Our mission is clear, to empower individuals to live life to the fullest, unapologetically being themselves and finding tranquility in the pursuit of remarkable experiences. You can visit Narco at narcousa.com. My next partner is Elevate Coffee Trading, and if you appreciate specialty coffee, enjoy outdoor adventure, and love helping elevate the lives of children around the world, then you're going to love Elevate Coffee Trading. Their mission is to extract hope through love, coffee, and adventures. There's free shipping in the United States, and every bag of coffee helps sponsor health and education for children in coffee-producing countries and in areas of need in the United States. You can use promo code ELEVATE21 on your next order. And you can follow their journey on social media at Elevate Coffee Trading. Or you can visit online at ElevateCoffeeTrading.com. And let's start extracting hope together. And this episode is brought to you by Baba Coffee, smuggling good vibes. Baba roasts their coffee beans each week and only offers the freshest coffee. They have espressos, lattes, cappuccinos, pour over, or drip coffee. You can try their cold brew coffee, nitro cold brew, or bulletproof coffee. And boba milk teas. They also have a wide assortment of delicious food. I would suggest you try the avocado toast, mimosas, wine, or beer. On the weekends, you can check out some great music like the Soto 6 and food like Eliza the Shelf and others over the weekend, every Friday and Saturday, beginning at 6 p.m. You can check out everything they got going on on Facebook and Instagram at Baba Coffee. Hey, and we're back with a new episode of The Creative Brew. Today, we are talking about you don't start off from the mountaintop. Uh, This is actually uh, something that I've I've heard recently and uh, actually from a good friend of mine uh, that that coaches at Palomar College and we was in practice and uh, he actually referred uh, to this. So I'm credit wise, I'm giving this the the concept of this episode uh, was uh, was based from a conversation from uh, from Coach Box. He's the head coach at Palomar College. But uh, but really thinking about you know some of the uh, even watching the and I'm sure everyone's been you know catching at least a, a glimpse of the Olympics and and uh, depending on what sport you love and uh, I try to I try to try my best to sort of check out uh, a lot of the different uh, different sports and and uh, I'm always interested um, not to say I mean you've got some of the best athletes in the world um, competing you know for for a medal but I'm always interested. And what their story was, you know, you, and you you hear it, you know, for for people that you know that may not get a chance to to be exposed to these athletes, you know, this is a great platform to see these athletes in action and really see all the all the work and sacrifice that they they put in uh, for these four years to get to where they are now. But I'm always interested in in hearing their story and their their backstory and you know how did they get to where they are. Um, you know, sometimes we, we feel like, you know, we, we see these amazing athletes and we don't understand. And sometimes we, we forget, you know, they're like, you know, they're just like us, um, you know, but at the same time, too, they put in a lot of lot of work, um, superhuman hours of, of work and sacrifice and things that normal people aren't willing to do. They, they've done it consistently for years to get to the to the level Um of, of where they're at uh, in their specific sport. But I'm always interested in, in hearing, you know, people's backstories, you know, what were the, the, the struggles, you know, what were, what was the, the, the light bulb moment, you know, what was those things that sort of, um, that turned on to say, hey, I can actually really be good at this. Uh, I'm always interested to, to, to hear all those little things. You know, you, you, you hear with, you know, certain athletes where, you know, they, they're almost ready to quit. You know, they get to a certain point to where they feel like, you know, um, they're they're not getting the right. You know, maybe they're in the, the wrong environment. Um, they're just they're they're not doing well. You know, they, they they for the most part probably lost their love of it, and uh, they get to that almost to that point to where they you know they're ready to give it up, and then something happens, 
and they fall back in love with it again. They give it another uh, a chance, and then you find then they find themselves you know on the national team or or fighting for a medal or actually getting a medal. Um, I'm always interested to, to sort of hear you know all those things because you know I, I think we we feel like wow they just you know they're these amazing athletes they you know they just they all these things were just given to them and that's not the truth you know it's when you hear a lot of these people's uh, stories i mean they're they started off with you know some a lot of them started off with a bad bad hand you know some of them started off with some some bad living conditions or you know they they wasn't in the uh you know the right environment a lot of them had you know parents too made the sacrifice to sort of move them to a to an area that was going to allow that that kid to thrive um there's a lot of sacrifice um but they started out everyone starts out from the bottom and that, that i think that's what i'm really alluding to that you know you see all these people no one starts out right you know at their at their best right off the bat no one starts off on the mountaintop everyone has made that climb sooner or later some people you know maybe they're they 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 find you know find themselves uh being you know maybe they leverage themselves to where they're they're able to to scale up that mountaintop a little bit uh, a little bit faster but some of us quit right at you know right at the point to where you know we're right there at the at the precipice we're right there at the at the apex of the of the mountaintop and we we give it up we quit where you see a lot of these you know a lot of these athletes you know same uh, same scenario where they they could have gave it up, but something something in them told them that sort of that maybe that drive that inner drive maybe that that larger why told them to keep going. I know this uh, this this show can be, uh, you know, I try to stay on the on the creative side of things, but um, you know, I always try to see the 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 essence of of creativity in, in all things. It could be sports. It can be you know, art, music, uh, food, life, you know, relationships, business, um, everything is an art when you break it down, you know, there, there's ways of, um, you know, creating, <laughs> creating your masterpieces, there, there's messy, sometimes messy, there's a messy process, sometimes you, you know, you, you fail a bunch of times, um, and then you create a solution or you create that masterpiece that, you know, stands the test of time. Um, so I, you know, with episodes like this, you know, I, I, I know I tend to be on the creative side, but um, I, I really want to talk about the, you know, uh, really about the Olympics and, and maybe not necessarily like, you know, the things that happen, but understanding that everyone, all of us, even our, you know, for the creative community, for the entrepreneurial um, community, um, for my athletic, uh, for, for people that's in athletics or coaching or leadership, you know, we all start from the bottom. You know, we all have to learn in, in some form or fashion. And we, we find ourselves, you know, scaling every each level, each level until we get to our own personal mountaintop. So sometimes we, we, we find ourselves sort of comparing. We find ourselves saying, wow, I mean, I, I wish I could be in this position. You don't understand the, the sacrifice and the hours, um, the ungodly hours it took to get to that point. Some people it may take years to get to to the to the mount to their own personal mountaintop. For others, it may take you know shorter. And you know what the 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 crazy thing is is that we we never stay up there on the mountaintop for too long. You know we we stay up there we we bask we, you know we enjoy the, the the setting we see the sun, uh, but sooner or later we have to go back down that mountain sooner or later. We can't stay up there forever. Um, as much you as much as you uh, you would want to, and you see it even with the the Olympics, you see it all the time. You know, people that's been at the top of their game for years, and sooner or later, those you know new new talent, fresh talent comes in, and they they get beat out. You're never going to be on the top forever, but while you're there, enjoy it, bask in it. Um, you you did all the work necessary to get to that point. So don't ever feel like, hey, you know, you get to a certain uh, destination, you get to a certain goal and, you know, you're just ready. I think for a lot of us, we're ready to like, hey, what's the next goal? What's the next goal? Sometimes we may just we may just need to stop and enjoy the scenery, enjoy it for what it is, because you, sometimes we, we may not get that get that opportunity again. Even for a lot of the, the athletes in the Olympics, you know, this this could be it, you know. 
Yes, you would love to have the opportunity to go to an Olympics, but you never know what happens in four years. New talent comes in, or maybe some kind of life crisis comes in. Maybe, you know, it could be anything. So even for us, you know, we're, we're trying to get to that mountaintop, and we get there. Enjoy it for what it is. Understand that you put in all the effort, you put in all the work, you put in, you know, you, uh, all, the, all the goals, everything you need to do, uh, all the, the, the consistent work, the sacrifice, all you need to do to get to that, to that goal, to get to your mountaintop, uh, enjoy it. Because sooner or later, we have to go right back down that mountain. And, um, but that's how we get better. You know, we have to go back down into the valley. Um, and I think that's for, for everyone that's, that's willing. If you're listening to this, um, you're one of those to where, you know, you're, you're a learner. You're a lifelong learner. You're a student. Um, and you're, you're always trying to figure out ways of how can, what things do I need to learn? You know, how can I, you know, learn something from a different perspective? Sometimes it could be, you know, maybe you're just really great at something. Sometimes it could be learning something completely new. Um, getting out of your comfort zone, getting back down into that valley and going back to the basics and saying, you know what, I, I've got so much more to learn, um, but I'm willing and I'm open enough to say, you know what, I'm really good at this, but if I want to grow, if I'm willing to, to grow as a person, as a creator, as an athlete, as a coach, any, any of your professions, you're going to have to be willing to go back down into that valley. We can't stay up there on the mountaintop forever. We can't. So, you know, that's what I got today. You know, it really sort of a, a short motivational rant. Um, or maybe inspirational, who knows. But uh, I, I just wanted to let you know that, hey, you, you know, where you're at right now, keep climbing. Don't compare to your race. Don't compare your race to someone else's. You know, everyone's trying to get up, you know, trying to reach that goal, trying to reach that destination. Um, you'll get there in time. Don't, don't feel like you have to get there at a certain due date. You will make it. Stay consistent. You know, keep, keep visualizing, keep uh, visualizing every day where you, you know, where you want to be and you'll, you'll get there, but make sure you put in the work and when you get there, enjoy it. Because you, you just sometimes you just never know, you know, that could be your only opportunity. Um, but at the same time, too, you know, yeah, it, it, even if we do get up there, you know, we're, you know, how, how long are you really going to enjoy it? You know, the, there's always so much more to learn. And uh, that's where we have to be willing to go back down to the valley and um, go back down and climb up another mountain, maybe a bigger mountain. Who knows? Um, but that's what I got today. Um, you know, we, we don't start out the mountaintop, so don't feel like, uh, you know, you see someone that you're comparing yourself to, you don't understand the, the hours it took to get for that person to get to that point. Respect them, um, clap for them. You know, matter of fact, I, I think we, we, we find ourselves not clapping for others. Um, support them, clap, you know, celebrate them because it shows that it's possible. You know, sometimes we can we can just be <laughs> too too caught up in ourselves and feel like, well, I, I should be right here. I should be at this point or I should be at this certain point at, at you know, this stage of my life. No, you don't know your you don't know the whole journey. You don't even know your whole story yet. And you you may have something incredible waiting for you if you just keep putting in the work, stay open to experiences and to ideals and just be willing to say, you know what? Eventually, I'm going to get to that destination. Eventually, I'm going to climb up that mountain. I'm going to enjoy it. And at the same time, too, knowing that I'm not going to, I'm not going to stay up there forever. Because there's, there's more to learn. There's more to learn about ourselves, more to learn about this planet, more to learn about what you're here to create, what you're here to express. So much more, so much more. And that's where I find myself at. You know, I, I you know, I've got, I've got certain goals and, and dreams and aspirations. But even if I got that, even if I got that tomorrow, you know, I would definitely, I would, I would, I would celebrate it because I put in a, a lot of work. Uh, but at the same time, I am one of those lifelong students. I will continually, continually seek out new knowledge, new wisdom. Um, how do I get better as a person? Um, how do I get better as a, as a father, as a husband? Um, how do I get better as a creator? How, how do I get better as a coach? 
How do I communicate with more, with more heart, uh, with more purpose? Um, how do I communicate in a way that connects to, to people's um, souls and, 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 uh, and minds? That, that's, what, that's what I love. Um, and for you, you might be a little different. Um, you might be trying to, you know, maybe you've just got a, a huge mountain. Uh, you've got a huge goal. Sometimes the, the only thing you can do is take that one step, one step up and just take it a day at a time. But if you keep going, eventually you're going to get to that, you're going to get to that mountaintop and then you'll be the person that everyone admires and, and, you know, is envious of. And all it took was you being consistent and taking that action and, and going uphill. That's it. But no, you're not going to be up there forever. You always got to go back down into the valley. So that's what I got today. Um, uh, just a couple of quick quick announcements. Uh, I'll actually have uh, some, uh, there's an uh, art gallery that's here in Oceanside, California with Covet uh, Art Gallery. And uh, I'll actually have some, uh, a couple of my coffee cups there on display for exhibition. Um, so if, you know, me, I am a, a huge advocate for the arts, um, just all over the country, uh, actually all over the world. But um, if you do get a chance, Come by, check it out, support all the artists that's in that exhibit. Um, come by, you know, chat with me or chat with some of the other artists. Um, so that, that's what I got today. So um, obviously there, there's, some other, there's some other little events that's, and things that's going on here in the next uh, couple of weeks, which I'll, I'll probably put some announcements out for. But uh, I just want to give a quick announcement out for, for that. So i um, always trying to support the arts and, um, you know, just... Uh, we've got, there's a lot of things that's going on, especially, um, I would say, especially in California, um, with them potentially cutting, cutting the arts and, and culture. So, uh, do what you can to support the arts. You know, that this has been a, a love of my life, uh, ever since I was a little kid and, uh, I will forever, uh, be an advocate of the arts because I, I really feel like creativity is who I am. Um, it's a, at the essence is, is part of who I am and, uh, I know it's saved my life. So, uh, support your local artists, musicians, um, authors, you know, support your creative community in some, some form or fashion. Um, so other than that, if you want to support the episode as well as future episodes, please go to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash the creative brew. And for the price of a cup of coffee, um, you can support this episode as well as future episodes. Um, so if you want to support, please do so. Uh, if you're interested in sponsoring or, or uh, sponsoring a, the show or maybe uh, having your brand on the show, um, I've got, you know, packages for that, too, as well. But, you know, uh, just send me a message on that and we'll, we'll chat. Um, but that's what I got. So be creative. Stay inspired. Down, stay on the ground. No, I won't take it. No, we won't take it. Life is about to give you ups and downs. All the wins and the outs and the smiles and frowns. They will tell you to settle down, stay on the ground. No, I won't take it. No, we won't take it. The same